So, what is going on guys? This is Ryan here. And this is other Ryan here. And today we're actually going to be talking about something different than Five Nights at Freddy's 3, or at least so we believe. Now, um, I think Five Nights at Freddy's 3 has really taken the spotlight now that Scott has actually released the game. But I think what a lot of people have actually started to forget is that Scott is still actually continually updating the website on a daily basis with new images. Yeah, why would he be updating the site if the game that he's been teasing everyone about with these pictures has came out? It, it doesn't really make sense. So obviously, there's a deeper meaning behind these photos. That yeah, it, may, it makes you think if these photos are now representing the game or something different. So basically, what we're seeing on screen here is it's quite a simplistic image, really, and it's a lot of the image is speaking for itself. So what we have is what looks to be a Freddy Fazbear hat in the center of a spotlight which looks to be on some kind of flooring and I think instantly a lot of people are kind of thinking what does this mean it, we're a bit unsure what this might be referencing but a couple of w details on the website might actually tell us something a bit deeper about this image and I think we have to first recognize that Scott has deleted most of the text which specified about false uh, you know contact numbers and things like that and it's very simplistic now the website is yeah, it almost feels naked. Almost this website does. It's yeah. like I it's kind know, of been stripped I... of its. Be it's kind of bare bones now, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I mean. So like when I when I first saw this image, the first thing I thought was I felt a bit sad actually because I thought, is this it? Because it's like, if it was, it would be a nice way to kind of gesture to the ending, if you know what I mean, of Five Nights at Freddy's. Just of course, by yeah. The iconic simplicity of the hat. We'll in the spotlight, just kind of exactly. saying the show has finalised pretty much, isn't that's it? it. That's it, that's, that's his last show, and that was his last time in the spotlight kind of thing. It's like, oh, this is kind of sad. Yeah, <laughs> I think uh, I think another thing as well we need to look at with this image is uh, in the inspect element. Now, we are very uh, aware of Scott, and he uh, always likes to include some kind of secret code. Not necessarily code, but something which relates to the image within the inspect element. And if you actually look at this one, there's nothing there at all. It's purposely been removed. Usually if usually if he doesn't have anything to put, he'll just kind of leave it as the same one, but he's actually removed this one. Yeah, there's got to be a meaning behind it. I mean, we could say that, um, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Final Fantasy Freddy's, just mute, um, but at the end they say there was a fire, don't they? Yeah. In the uh, pizzeria, so, and they said some bits were sold off at auction. So yes. maybe, you know, maybe this isn't the end. Maybe this is the start of something else. Maybe this is kind of like the start of... A new creation almost I mean what else it could say as well is um, when Five Nights at Freddy's 3 came out I think a lot of people were quite disappointed that you know you, you do see Freddy of course but he's not in the same form you want he's not moving around and um, you know with the game just came out I think a lot of fans have realized now that Freddy isn't really playing much of a part in this game so maybe the hat might be there to kind of say you know he's not been forgotten whatsoever maybe uh, Freddy's still living on Oh, well, I hope so, in honesty, because, like I said, the, um, what was it, Phantom Freddy or something like that, the community has come to know Phantom them. Freddy, yeah, yeah, who walks past and the uh, mi uh, window, yeah. Yeah, and that was, that was just a hallucination as well, so it's not the real Freddy, so yeah, it's kind of kind of sad, really. A hallucination of the burned um, version of it, yeah. Well, so I guess we do see Freddy, actually, in the doorway, <laughs> thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, I suppose but so, but it's kind of not in the same form that I think everyone expected to see him in. Yeah. But... You know, this hat might actually mean something totally different. It might even be hinting towards another game. I mean, for all we know, this could actually be hinting towards kind of the, you know, the simplistic style that you was picking up on. What about if this could refer to something like the show must go on? Yeah, let, let's start something else. You know, kind of turn over a new leaf or The hat in the center of the kind of spotlight might be saying that we need to be paying attention to this. The hat is kind of like Freddy's, uh, what would you call it? kind of primary thing we associate him with is the hat, isn't it? It's what defines Freddy as who he is. It's almost like his signature, almost. This yeah, his, hat his signature, yeah, that's his signature kind of statement, isn't it, really? The hat. You never see him without it. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, yeah, what we need to ask ourselves, the most important thing from this is, which way is Scott going with this? I mean, he's made the website very simplistic, but I think the most important thing we have to consider, and this is uh, kind of from, I suppose you could say a business standpoint as well, with Scott just releasing Five Nights at Freddy's 3, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't want to disappoint the fans whilst everyone is just getting so hyped up for the game. I mean, he wouldn't have, want everyone to get sad because then that would kind of quickly dissipate the, you know, the hype and joy that everyone's been feeling for Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Yeah. So it makes me think maybe this is even a reference to uh, maybe before Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Or whether this is like Fred Bear's Dino or something with the hat. Oh, yeah. Um, maybe 
that it started with that. That's what Gotham I mean. Maybe thing. this could represent the beginnings now. So maybe, for all we know, this could be hinting towards the Five Nights at Freddy's 4, which is actually a prequel of Five Nights at Freddy's 2. So how that would uh, that would definitely spice things up. And a lot of people have been saying that that's kind of the only one left missing in the kind of the the game trilogy, really. At the yeah. at the at this current time, it's a game trilogy. Um, whatever it would be called, quadrilogy or something. <laughs> yeah. Although the um, storyline has been told to us throughout Five Nights at Freddy's 1 to 3, it's like there's still chunks missing that we don't know about. So hopefully, they, yeah, fingers crossed. They mostly come from the origins, don't they? That's what we're a bit kind of confused yeah. with. It's just because we don't know what happened first, you know, only up to a certain point. Yeah. Yeah. And on a final note as well, I think we need to consider one more important thing. Uh, now, for the past three days, Scott's updated the website with a new image. So this just might be a new image, and uh, perhaps there might be uh, images coming over the forthcoming days, and it might, you know, further explain something to do with what this image might represent. I hope. Well, hopefully, yeah. I mean, with the um, uh, the balloon boy and the the big uh, ten, people are still a bit confused with what this ten represents. What about if? Rather than the game coming out, we're about to receive some big news on the tenth. Yeah, yeah, people were saying that. Um the game just doesn't feel like the game. It always feels like there's something missing. And people are saying, you know, not to knock Scott or anything, but this guy is an actual genius in game making. So what if he's got something up his sleeve that we don't even know about yet? You know, I actually believe that he's got something up his, up his sleeve rather than just abandoning this franchise. I mean, Five Nights at Freddy's 3, the fan base has only skyrocketed further. And I think it's a constantly growing fan base. I think Scott knows, well, we know Scott knows this anyway. So there's no way he's yeah. going to just abandon us and like, you know, over one image. He's just not that type of guy. This means nah. something different. I really do believe that. Yeah, definitely. So, all right then, guys. That's a nice little look at this image. Share your thoughts and comments down below. And also, be sure to like this video and also subscribe. We're going to be posting daily theories from Five Nights at Freddy's 3, which is now going to tie back into to some of the other games. So, keep an eye out for that. And yeah, guys, we will see you on the next video. Goodbye, guys.